Hey guys, back here today with um, some wax and some other random empties. This is going to be from August 6th to August 27th. There's quite a bit. There's some random candles, um, perfume, and that might be it. And then, of course, wax. <clears throat> so I'm going to get straight into it because it's completely filled. First one is Candlelight Company. I've never heard of this company before. My mom bought me this. I think um, she got candles from the grocery store for like buy one get one free. Um, this one is Blood Orange and Teakwood. It was okay. Um, didn't really get much of the Blood Orange. Mostly Teakwood. Um, it wasn't very strong. So, I mean, I didn't buy it. My mom did. So, I wouldn't personally go out just to look for this candle, to be honest with you. Um, a couple more candles. Yankee Candle White Chocolate Apple. So I normally never complain about how a candle burns because, you know, that's just how it is. But this candle is disgusting. <laughs> like, it was like that the whole entire way down. It actually still has more wax. It could have another solid couple of hours. But this scent had no throw whatsoever. This is the second one I've tried of the white chocolate apple. Because I got these for, oh my gosh, I think like $4. And I really just wanted, I don't feel right returning a candle that I got for only like 3 or $4 for a new fully priced one. So I was like, you know what, just, I'll use it for light at nighttime, you know, when I'm watching TV or something. Um, but this has no scent, so I would not repurchase that at all. <clears throat> one I did love from Yankee Candle, I got this from the outlets, um, is Delicious Apple. This burned flawlessly. It was beautiful. No soot, no nothing. It was a really nice apple scent. You know, it's not the strongest apple, but it was a beautiful apple, if that makes sense. Um, it was enough for the living room, but, um... This is another one. I would repurchase this one. But this was another one I got for like six something. Like when I find Yankee Candles, I try to find them as cheap as possible. Um, okay. I'm trying to get the random empties done first. Guys, this is a huge deal for me. Because I either one, never finish these. Or two, I just lose them. Like, I'll lose them and never find them again. My first ever Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist. Empty. Ever. Ever. This is the Golden Honey Praline. I have, like, six more of these. This one's beautiful. A main reason I have so many of these is because my fiancé... <clears throat> Really loved the smell of this, and he said that it was a really beautiful fragrance on me, so I bought quite a few of these. This is beautiful. It's like an almondy, like, nutty scent. Like, it's beautiful. Very, very beautiful scent. I'm so glad I repurchased these, and hopefully one day they'll bring that back. Okay, so I have a lot of designer wax, and a lot of that is because I have a lot from her, that I'm trying to get through so I can make an excuse to buy more because I love designer wax. But at the same time, she's also having a competition on her Facebook for the top contributors. So I'm trying to contribute while also enjoying her a lovely and amazing wax. This first one is one of my all-time favorite um, wax blends in general. Freshly Roasted Coffee, Garden Dirt, Rosemary Mint, Black Tea Leaves. When you smell this on cold... You mainly get the coffee and rosemary mint, but when you melt it, you get everything. You get 25% of everything. It is a gorgeous blend. It sounds weird. Trust me, I know. I thought that when I first bought this. I was like, I'm not going to enjoy that, but I want to try it. I love it and hope that she brings this back soon because it's amazing. Um, Sweet for Paris by Designer Wax. Black, this is a Bath and Body Works type. Blackberry, vanilla, lemon, meringue, and pink peony. This one was like a very, 
I got strong on the vanilla on this one. It was really lovely. It was about a... The other one was like a 10 out of 10 throw. It was a perfect bedtime scent because I could smell it all night long. This one was probably like a medium throw. I liked it in the kitchen. Savvy Scent Co. I... Biker Babe. I have no clue what the scent notes are for this. But basically, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It smells like plastic to me. And when it melted, it was the same. It just... I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of this scent. Would not repurchase. It had like a plasticky scent to it. <clears throat> the Scented Squirrel. I love her cute little logos. Um, Blackberry Sage Campfire Marshmallow. Mmm. This is a beautiful combination. You get the blackberry sage mostly with a little bit of the creaminess from the marshmallow. I did um, this one at nighttime, I think. This was a really nice, beautiful bedtime blend. Soft Aloe and White Lilac from Designer Wax. This is just a really nice, like, it's kind of powdery, um, fresh clean blend. I like to do this one in the bathroom. I have like seven of these I think because I just loved it when I first purchased this. So there's that. <clears throat> Lavender, Fizzy, and Volcano by Designer Wax. Mm, this is like a fruity, fizzy note. It's beautiful. You can't go wrong with this one. This one's actually really, really popular. A lot of people on her Facebook group love this one. Destination Wax Skittles Candy. This one was... <laughs> it smells just like Skittles. Duh, of course. This one was like a medium thrower. I used this in my kitchen. It was good, but... Like, I love... Destination Wax, Designer Wax, Super Tarts. Those are like my favorite vendors. But this one is not on my high repurchase list just because... Um, she has so many other great blends. I just am not a huge fan of this one. But it was a good thrower. If you like uh, the candied type scents. Barrett's. Oh, you can't really see that very well. Barrett's Waf, Wax Crafts. Oh, you cannot see that at all. Okay. Well, these are the Snoozy Melts. It's Lavender Peppermint. Oh, what is the other note? And vanilla? Basically, it's lavender, peppermint. It's the strongest notes. Um, this one is nice. I've melted that one probably, like, at least ten times. Uh, next one by Designer Wax is Lemon Peel Sunflowers. This one was, like, a beautiful floral with, like, a tartness to it from the lemon. It was, it was strange, like, how much I really, truly loved this one. I would repurchase in a heartbeat. Tomato Vine is the next one. This one is really delicious. It smells just like the candle that Bath and Body Works came out with last year. They did not come out again with they did not come out with it again this year, which was really sad. I only have one and I'm kind of hoarding it because I'm not ready to part with it. I've gotten so much into fresh and earthy clean scents that this just made me super, super happy um, because it's going to probably be a long time before I can get a hold of a candle that smells like that. So the wax was really good. Really, really good. This was like a um, cupcake shape uh, wax. Like a, It looked like the muffin cupcakes. It's cotton candy shaving cream with juicy pears. This one was really nice. Um, it wasn't super, super extremely strong, but it was a lovely blend when I could smell it in my room. I know I said it wasn't strong, but I would repurchase this because I am loving scents with pear. And I know pear is light, but it's also like delicate and how do I explain? Like, I don't know. I just love and appreciate pear scents. I don't know why. It's just how I am right now. But this was beautiful. Um, let's see. 
I think these two I mixed together. Tangerine, cotton candy, frosting, lavender, chamomile, candy, apple, winter laundry. I think these two I mixed together. Oh, Lord, I can't remember. This is a really nice um, candy apple, like, clean scent, of course, from the laundry. Tangerine, cotton candy, frosting, lavender, chamomile is nice and, like, it was like a floral, like um, herbal lavender with like a tartness to it. I guess that's from the tangerine. It was nice. Both of those I would repurchase. Those are her sample shot cups. Um, let me see if I can get this to refocus. Hopefully. Um, <clears throat> Sun ripened raspberry bath and body works type. This is a really nice, beautiful, mouth-watering raspberry. It's gorgeous. And I have one more left. Hopefully, once again, that's another scent that she will um, bring back. Strawberry rhubarb Mexican fried ice cream and vanilla buttercream crunch. This one I think I've talked about on my um, YouTube channel before. This is a beautiful, tart, strawberry rhubarb scent with, like, a creaminess from the buttercream. It's perfect. Love this blend. It's actually one of my all-time favorite bakery blends. Oh, excuse me. Got the hiccups. Um, I don't... I mixed some together, and I can't find the other one. Um... Just trying to get through these scent shots from Small Kind Creations from Hawaii. Sugar cookies, blackberry Linzer cookies, I could hardly smell. Her wax is 100% soy. It, luckily, it does come out of the warmer quite easy, but I was unable to smell anything from those. Um, the beloved new Parks and Rec scent from Super Tarts. Fresh cut grass, satsuma, lemon sugar, and sprinkles. You do get mainly fresh cut grass about like 75 percent but then you also get when it's melted <clears throat> you do get that tart like uh, fruitiness from the satsuma love it would repurchase honeysuckle pineapple from uh sensationals this one was really nice but light um I used, of course, two cubes, but still couldn't really smell it too well. But I probably, I don't know, I probably wouldn't repurchase this if they brought it back. Um, I did not combine these two, I'm just showing you. Luau and Shaved Ice, honestly, two more scents, I really couldn't smell that much from shaved ice kind of had like this fruity note to it but it was still pretty I was sad about it too because they smelled super good but they are just really light ruby beach pink sands mango sorbet blue cotton candy and cupcakes this was beautiful I would buy this again in a heartbeat um it was a nice fruity um relaxing scent I love that one Huckleberry Muffin. This is such a good bakery. You get the muffin, the bready note, like a yeasty type note. But then you also get that berry note on top of it. It's like... Oh, so beautiful. This one is gorgeous. Um, Ramona talks, talks, also talks about this a lot. That are not a lot, but in her destination wax videos, that she repurchases this time and time again, and I can see why now. This is a gorgeous scent. It's currently going in my kitchen. This one is a ten out of ten. Throw you out of your house scent. It's beautiful. Bubblegum, basic bubblegum scent. This one I could smell by Small Kind Creations. Um, lemon rose petals by Cottage Bay. Basically rose. That's all I really smelt with this one. Um, with like a tight, a tight, with a tartness to it. 
Simo Wax Melts Fruit Loop Zinger. I don't know what the zinger is, to be honest. But it was just basically a Fruit Loop scent. It was nice and strong. My beloved Deadpool Fresh Pick Strawberries and Satsuma from Super Tarts. This is amazing. We'll buy this again, again, and again. It is a beautiful strawberry Satsuma scent that's really strong. 10 out of 10. Friends by Super Tart Strawberry Margarita with Sugar Coated Raspberries. I wasn't a huge fan of this. I loved it on cold, but it was not that strong on warm. It was about a medium. Um, I love the show. That's why I bought this, but I probably wouldn't repurchase that one. <clears throat> a lot, a lot, a lot of designer wax. Black coconut, rich black coconut, balanced with cedar wood. A nice, sophisticated, like, manly type scent. Really nice for the bathroom. Grilled peaches and pecans. This had a really nice, like, like a cooked peach, of course, because grilled peaches, but with, like, a nutty note to it. Gorgeous. Love that one. Another one I didn't think I would like because of the cucumber, but this is Swedish Dreams Sheer Cucumber Lavender Balsam Lime and Salty Ocean Breeze. This scent was amazing. I basically got um, lavender balsam and then like a side note of the cucumber, like a freshness to it. Would repurchase. Green Apple Marshmallow Fluff Mac Apple. This one's amazing. I love Mac Apple. Love it. That one I would definitely repurchase. Uh, I'm trying to remember which ones I mixed together. Um, this one is Fruity Pebbles Cotton Candy Cupcakes. Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Hawaiian Punch Skittles. Really nice fruity combination. Loved it. I'm thinking these two I combined together, but Lavender Marshmallow Rice Krispies is just a lovely um, herbal, not herbal, mm, and not bakery, I can't think of other word, <sighs> type of lavender, it was really good. Cool Peppermint Marshmallow Margarita is bay. This one is, <sighs> it has like a little slight alcoholy type note to it. But it's basically peppermint and it is beautiful. Um, I think I mixed this with something but I don't remember. <laughs> I need to start writing these down so I remember. Wedding Cake Vanilla Buttercream Crunch. This is just a basic buttercream scent. Cotton Candy Funnel Cake. This was amazing. Smell just like a fair. I love it. Funnel cakes and cotton candy are my thing at fairs, so I was like super stoked to get a hold of that. Blackberry Mountain Dew and Rainbow Sorbet. I'm sorry, Sherbert. This is fruity, but now when I smell it, it kind of has like a perfumey note to it, but it's lovely. Island Escape Blue Cotton Candy with Tropical Fruit Slice Embeds. This one was a beautiful, fruity, like now that I smell it, it kind of has a peachy note to it, but on warm, this one was like a nice fruity tropical combination of life. Like, it was just that good. <laughs> Starbucks coffee ice cream chocolate chip cookie dough. Basically, this was a beautiful, like, coffee chocolate scent. I really, really love this. I love coffee and chocolate together. It's nice. Oh, here's some random wallflower. Refills, Lemon Mint Leaf, and Rose Water and Ivy. This one's so strong. I don't even smell this one ever. Lemon Mint Leaf. It's like non-existent. <laughs> um, Pretzel Blueberry by Destination Wax. This scent is another one that I would repurchase. Um, It smells, it says Pretzel Blueberry, but it smells just like Blueberry Ego, Ego Waffles. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It's amazing. Ego waffles. Makes me want some. Toasted marshmallow and spearmint. 
This one was like 15 out of 10 throw you out of the house. It was beautiful. I would definitely repurchase this one. It was a nice minty scent with like a creaminess from the marshmallow. It was like a creamy spearmint. It smells like the spearmint candle from Bath and Body Works. But that one actually throws on like the one from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Black linen and amber. This one doesn't really ring a bell. It's just kind of like a clean type scent. I don't really remember it very well. Coney Island Boardwalk Taffy Shaved Ice Beachfront Daisies Cotton Candy Frosting. This one you definitely do get a little slight floral note from the daisies, of course, but other than that, it's just like a nice shaved ice scent. It was gorgeous. Shipwrecked Beach Beach Bonfire Marshmallow Jelly Donuts. When I first got this, I was like, that kind of sounds weird. But it actually ended up being quite nice. I wonder if that's the jelly donut. I'm smelling. It was an interesting blend, that's for sure. Ice King Blue Raspberry Jolly Ranchers Whipped Cream and Red Raspberry. This one, honestly, I basically, I think I just get the Blue Raspberry Jolly Ranchers. I'm not a huge fan of this. I do not repurchase. Now, the last one is It Wasn't Just a Dream by Super Tarts. Pink Sugar, Lavender Cream, and Peppermint. This was the thing that helped me sleep sometimes. It's a beautiful, beautiful peppermint. And, like, the la it's not, like, a potent lavender because it kind of is, like, of course, it's a creamy lavender. So, basically, you get that pink sugar note with the lavender cream. So, pink sugar is about 25%, lavender cream 25 and peppermint about 50 This is beautiful, and I will repurchase this forever and ever and ever as long as it's available <laughs> um so guys I'm super excited to get rid of those empties and start a new box so that was April or I'm sorry August 6th through the 27th wax empties hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget any questions leave a comment down below see you later